select muna natin to. Let's select this by using our, uh, we can use the quick selection tool. We can use the object selection tool. I'm just going to select this. For example, this one. Let's select this object selection tool. And as you would see, ang bilis niyang nagawa yung ating uh, selection. I'm just going to hold the shift key for, to, for me to make this more faster. Or you can use any selection technique that you have. In our case, pwede kayong gumamit ng magnetic lasso tool, pwede kayong gumamit ng magic wand, you can use all of that. Okay. In our example, so we have did, did this, we can do what we call the puppet warp. Okay? Let's go to edit and let's go to, let's copy this. Let's create a copy of this. So how do we create a copy of this? Let's go to layer. Maybe we can just right click and then create layer via copy. Or pwede natin gawin, create layer via cut, which we can do. But, but much better, let's do create layer via copy. Okay. So we have created this. Let's, I'm just going to disable this. As you would see, I have created this design, this, uh, this uh, manipulation. And based from our design specs here, let's just create a gradient for this. Let's go to object selection. Let's go to our background. Or let's create a new layer, which is shift con command N. Let's create a layer here. Or para dun sa mga... Nagsimula pa lang, let's go to this, option, new layer, and then let's create a new layer for this. So let we have a blank layer this on this, on which we can create a gradient. So you, you can decide kung anong klaseng layer yung gusto nyong ilagay, a uh, gradient. For in my example, I'm just going to select this and create a gradient for this. As you would see here, I have created something like this. Okay. So what I can do using the layer one, I'm just going to double click this and rename this. Let's say yoga student. What I can do with this is manipulate the image itself by using what we call the puppet warp. Okay? Puppet warp. So you you need this layer to be selected. You go to Edit, and then you go to Puppet Warp. Okay, click. And as you would see here, you can directly manipulate this. For example, if I put what we call pins here, pins. If I put a pin there, if I put a pin here. Isipin nyo na lang na naglagay ako ng pin on which... I have put a tela, a, a, a cloth on this, and I can manipulate this directly. For example, if I want to manipulate her neck, for example, her neck, lagay ko yan dyan, i-click ko to isa pa dito, I'm just going to zoom in, as you would see here, you can directly modify the image by just doing this. See? And for example, if I want to manipulate the foot, here, click here, you can click here, and then click here. You can just manipulate this ng madaling madali. Okay? You can just move it in such a way na magagalaw mo agad siya ng mabilisan. This is what we call the puppet warp, on which you can use it on anything. Basta nakaselect siya. Okay? In our example, medyo babaan pa natin ng konti yung ulo niya. In our case, okay, ganyan pa siya. Or if you want, you can just manipulate this if you want. Medyo nakataas pa ng konti. And then press enter. As you would see, from this, I'm go holding the option key, ah, option or alt, and clicking the eye icon here. From this to this, nagawa nyo agad siya using the puppet warp. Okay? I'm just going to select this again. And we have created this using Puppet Warp. Okay? Next one is, ano yung ginawa natin dito? Let's create a shape layer here. Using, using the shape layer, I can access 
a lot of shapes inside the Photoshop. But if you're using the 2020 version or 2019 version, medyo nagtatago na yung mga shape layers eh. So right now, if I go back here, use the shape tool here. As you would see here, shape tool, the custom shape tool. When you press U on your keyboard, you can access the shapes here. Okay? If you're on CC 2019, mer meron siyang option for legacy shapes and more. Or you can also use the leaf trees here. Or flowers, by default. Flowers. In our example, I have used this, the flower shape 43. When I click that, I can generate shapes automatically by just doing this. Okay? Shape layers inside of Photoshop uh, depend on, depends on the version, enables you to change its fill and stroke here on the options, on the control. For example, let's click here. And as you would see, I have already changed this. If I go to layers, and if I want to drag this into in between this, I can just create this design automatically. Again, I mean, what's the keyboard shortcut if you want to lower the opacity? You can just press the four, four on your keyboard, four, and as you would see, the opacity itself will go down ng madali, 40%. Next one, if I'm just going to create a text here, ano yung nakalagay dun sa ating uh, yoga drill, for example. 